precursors to nanotechnology would be traditional medicine and traditional manufacturing. Traditional medicine can be invasive and is mostly used as a reactive measure. Traditional manufacturing can be cumbersome, costly, and inefficient. Nanotechnology is a science and application of creating objects on a level smaller than 100 nanometers. A nanometer is 1 billion times smaller than a human being. To give another frame of reference, here's a video illustrating a different perspective. First, we'll travel from the size scale of a human being all the way to the sun. The average height of a human being is about 1.6 meters, whereas the diameter of the sun is about 1.4 times 10 to the 9th meters, or 1,400,000 kilometers. That means the size of the sun is approximately 1 billion times larger than we are. Nanotechnology is unique because it is technology operating at a molecular level. Nanotechnology allows for the creation of virtually any object, one atom at a time. It is currently being used to create things like stain-resistant clothing and scratch-resistant paint coatings. Nanobots are the next step in nanotechnology. These bots have yet to be fully created, but have far been reaching possibilities. There has never been anything attempted at this very tiny level, and the technology so far is still considered hypothetical. These nanobots would in essence be smart nanomachines. Nanomachines currently manufacture and create items at an atomic level, but nanobots would need to react to their environment and learn. They will need to be able to sense and adapt, possibly using temperature, light, or texture, perform calculations, move and communicate, and work together. They may also have the ability to repair themselves and possibly re replicate. This unique technology would be something to watch in the near future. Nanotechnology, and in particular nanobots, have many experts excited for the nearly limitless application of this technology. One area that has generated a tremendous amount of buzz is the use of nanobots in medicine. Currently, scientists are trying to develop nanobots capable of detecting, tracking down, and destroying cancer cells. Scientists are lo also looking to make inject-able nanobots that are capable of assisting and eventually performing non-invasive surgeries. With nanomedicine, the sky is the limit. Hopefully one day, nanobots will be able to clear blood clots, remove plaque, and perform many other complex medical procedures. Here is a video that shows how scientists propose nanobots will travel through the body, clearing out harmful substances. Manufacturing is another industry where nanobots technology will have a lot of impact. One application where nanobots are currently being used is to produce rust-proof paints and ultra-strong plastics. The use of nanobots also allow for new manufacturing techniques such as custom coats by layers, a process in which nanobots are used to arrange molecular and sheets-like layer called nano-slice. These nano-slice are then laid on top of each other to create many different products. This method could revolutionize computer and other high-tech manufacturing. Scientists are hopeful that one day, nanobots will allow for bottom-up production, a process in which materials and objects are assembled one atom at a time. These applications are only a few examples of how nanobot technology will revolutionize the manufacturing industry. Strategic Implications of Nanorobotics in the Medical Field Nanorobots are intelligent robots that store enormous amounts of information like vaccines and antidotes for illnesses. Nanorobotics is an emerging field in medicine which states that nanorobots travel inside our bodies digging for information, finding defects, or delivering drugs. Nanorobots could also be used to process specific chemical reactions in the human body as ancillary devices for injured organs. Basically, we may observe two distinct kinds of nanorobot utilization. One distinct utilization is using nanorobots for the surgery intervention, and another is nanorobotics being used to monitor a patient's body. For the first case, a most suitable approach is the teleoperation of nanorobots as valuable tools for biomedical engineering problems. Hence, for example, surgery experts guiding a minimally invasive medical procedure. 
heart attacks are caused due to the blockage of the coronary arteries. This technology will enable robots to travel in the bloodstream to clear the blockage. In addition, nanorobots might be used to seek and break kidney stones. The successful use of nanorobots will greatly minimize the risk and the cost of surgery. For cases such as monitoring the human body, the nanorobots are expected to follow a defined set of specified activation rules for triggers or design behaviors. In such cases, the nanorobot will design to be able to interact with the 3D human body environment in order to fulfill program tasks. Nanorobots equipped with nanosensors could be developed to detect glucose demand in diabetes patients as well as to inject stem cells for the pancreas. Nanorobots will be applied in chemotherapy to combat cancer through superior chemical dosage administration. And a similar approach could be taken to enable nanorobots to deliver anti-HIV drugs. Among medical problems, monitoring nutrition concentration into the human body is a possible application of nanorobots in the medicine. Nanorobotics will significantly improve medical applications by making them easier, less expensive, and most importantly, more successful. Nanotechnology is extremely costly to develop. However, the payoff for the technology's success will diminish almost every loss incurred for the company that successfully implements it. Success would diminish costly research. If nanotechnology can fight and cure cancer, the U.S. could decrease the $4.86 billion it spends yearly on cancer research. Hundreds of billions of dollars are spent on cancer research and medical device research by private for-profit companies.